That stash looks so funny on them. Ah, I found you at last. <laughs> what? You, my good madam, were born to be a star. <laughs> huh? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Met... That does not seem a term. Metam? Head of Strategic Management at Asc the Ascension Arcadia, the premier enterprise for entertainment in Solution 9. Our flagship facility is the Arcadia, a combat arena, and it is there that we host the Ascension Arcadia Championship. It is the pinnacle for fighters in Alexandria, and I want you to be among them. As you may have heard, a circumstance had forced us to close the arena's doors for a time, but the time is right to reopen them. Her Majesty's tragic passing has left our citizens disconsolate. By providing them with gripping entertainment, it is our hope to help them to forget their cares for a while. If we are to accomplish that, however, it will not do so to show them what they have seen countless times before. No, they need something new. Someone new. And who better than she who not only protected our citizens from the king's army, but struck down the king himself. That was you, yes? <laughs> yeah. So it was, so it was. And so... For your strength and valor, the president of the Federation has marked you to be the Arcadian's next great star. Just imagine it, an upstart, the people's protector, arrives on the scene and challenges the Arcadian's mightiest to rise up as grand champion. What could be more gripping, I ask you? Gripping? Griping? Gripping? I don't know. Gripping. Griping. Ping. Two Ps. For your part, you will naturally be well compensated. The finest equipment a Solution 9 has to offer awaits you after each and every victor victory. Da -da 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 -da. English is hard. I dare say this has you enticed, but you needn't make up your mind right away. If you're keen to test your strength and win re reach rich rewards, then come to the Arcadian at the end of this avenue. The attendant will show you in. With that, I bid you farewell for now. I shall look forward to a favorable response. Waddles away. Okay. Whoa. Graphics card tower. Cool. Now we must proceed. Just straight, I think? Yeah, straight here. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people thought that when they first teased it, like in uh, the live letter and stuff. And they even like called it out too. They're like, we are aware that a lot of people are saying that it looks like a graphics card. <laughs> Ah, Miru, Master Madam has been expecting you. If you would follow me, I will take you to bed. Oh, the music's a little bit different in here. You came! By this, I take it you will fight in the Arcadian? Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the fold. Now then, I shall explain to you... Oh, who are these? Who are these guys? <laughs> are they checking... Are they checking her out? <laughs> you look like you've got some fight in you, I suppose. Uh, my drip slays too, okay? 
But still, you can only be so strong without being a soul shifter. I thought that's such soul shifter. Soul shifter, you wouldn't last long against any of us. Well, aren't you just a treat? I look forward to meeting you on stage. <laughs> what the heck? She's supposed to be like the cutesy character. <laughs> Wait, was that name Doting Daniel? Hulking Bruiser. You're a puny candle before my roaring flame. Make it to me and I'll blast you out of the ring. <laughs> what? What are these characters? Okay. These are some of the fighters you will face. They're all, um, characters, as you can see. Yes. <laughs> but I hope you do not take offense at their words. Consider it their way of welcoming you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I have mentioned, the Ascension Arcadia Championship is a fighting competition. The realm's mightiest duke it out in a bid to become the grand champion. I have no doubt that all Exanians would be captivated by your journey as a challenger and cheer you on as you fight your way up the ranks. And speaking of ranks, the fighter and the Arcadian are divided into three tiers, light, heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. The ultimate objective is to become the undisputed champion in all of the tiers and thereby rise up to the grand champion. As a rookie, your campaign begins in the light heavyweight tier where you must defeat your three rivals ranked therein. That's a lot of... Goodness gracious me, I almost forgot to mention the most important thing! The Arcadian has its own respiratory of feral souls, which our fighters utilize in battle. So potent are these souls, they alter the fighters' very forms. Lest you wonder, it is the potency of the souls employed that separates the championship's three tiers. Now, I'm given to understand you do not use a regulator. Even when you face the king, you do not rely on souls of any kind. That is most impressive indeed. Be that as it may, it would be egregiously unfair for you to compete with not to balance the scales. Fortunately, here at the Arcadian, we also have the souls of former champions in storage. We will use them to create allies to fight alongside you. And to make sure they work with you, and to make sure they work with you like a well-oiled machine, we will draw upon your memories to fine-tune their appearance and abilities to your liking. <laughs> that sounds a lot like the Endless. Like the arcane manifestation of Golul Jaja. They give off the newer Pokemon Gym Leader vibes? Oh yeah, yeah, in a way. <laughs> My, such marvelous magic exists in your world? Intriguing. Electrope is the medium employed here, but I dare say it is similar meaning for the temporary simulacrum. Simulacrum? And for the purposes of evening the odds, I believe seven of these simulacra should suffice. What do you think? Using souls for entertainment is wrong. The souls in your respiratory should be set free. I guess, I don't know. I mean, who am I to say what's right or wrong? Whatever. Hmm, I expected that you might harbor reservations about the use of souls. Those who hail from outside the barrier often do. And so I have a proposal, an additional incentive, if you will, for each victory and claim, I shall release the souls of those who fought beside you. You, my friend, would be the star who brings fresh change to the Arcadian. So let's say you. Are you willing to fight under those terms? Excellent. Now, I would tell you more about the Arcadian, but let us save it for after your first bout. After all, it'd be pointless if you end up losing straight away. Oh yeah. With that, I officially welcome you as the fighter of the Arcadian. When you are ready to take them to the arena, you need to say the word. A new challenger appears. 
Awesome. You ready then? Excellent. Rest assured, I will be here to guide you in the beginning. Is it unlocked yet? Is it unlocked yet? Is it unlocked yet? Okay. Now I shall introduce your first opponent. Pray look at the monitor. What the? This here is Black Cat, feared as the claw in the dark. That's right, she's the one who took your measure earlier. While she's still a rookie herself, you'd be wise not to underestimate her. She has a real talent and is expected to go far. Her first soul is Kath Palud, a terrible feline said to have pushed a legendary hero to its limits. With its power, she becomes unimaginably, unimaginably nimble and her very claws can rend steel. You need to keep your wits about you. Now, you should know that the ring is uniquely configured to complement the fighting style of your foes. This is in order to provide the audience with a spectacle. After all, we're first and foremost in the business of entertaining. On a similar note, I should mention that I'm yapping a lot and I really just want to unclog this up. <laughs> that I'm also the commentator for the matches. Leave it to me to squeeze every dab of excitement out of your fight. Now then, you had best see to your preparations. May you emerge victorious in your debut. Alright. Is it unlocked now? Is it not unlocked yet? Okay, fine. Lightweight. Oh my god, it's like... Wait, that's what it's called? Wait. Where is it? Oh my god, that's so funny. That's what it's called, light heavyweight. Okay, I've uh, been drinking a lot of water. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna send out a message right here for a queue to go into it anyway. In the link shell. stuff what gear to pick up as a mm, I don't know that's a good question let's see do I have it see I thought I saw one Hmm, I don't know. No, never mind. I thought I had something saved. Okay. 
I don't know. I guess... Maybe the balance? The balance have something on there posted. of aim this is pre-normal arcadian what about not pre-normal arcadian because it's like trying to figure out what to roll on yeah i don't know No, me and Revenge are talking about something completely else. <laughs> Different than what you guys are saying. <laughs> We're not talking about the I love one need to do the raids. Unless I'm on a different page completely. Actually, I think you all might be on a different page than I am. I think I might be on a page by myself. But Revenge, can you look at what I sent you? That one is dating like pre-raids, so... I don't know what to roll. I guess it doesn't matter right now. I can figure it out later. Because ideally, I do want to be rolling for some stuff, right? Um. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I said it's pre, pre, pre normal. That's why I, there's not one out yet for like normal, you know? But even then, it's not like I can, like I can just run this raid anyway. If I don't, if I don't get anything right now, like I'll figure it out. There's time. Oh, you know what I want to do? I also want to get some. Let's... Revenge, are you ready? Are you AFK? sure like i am gonna need that's how it's been even whenever even for like the for previous raid tiers before they drop um usually you do get some stuff from normal raids and alongside the stuff you get from normal raids um you use with like craft your crafted set right a mix of like crafted gear and then stuff you can get from like the normal raids it was just a matter of figuring out which uh, parts from the normal gear but um, yeah, I guess uh, two accessories, two boots then? Hi, Pricey. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, because Rento is saying two times, etc. Two times a week, so. Okay. I see if I can just right now. I know he was also looking into it for me. Just found your YouTube channel yesterday and I filled it into your content. Oh. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy as a content. I wanted to do the read today so I can upload uh, a video on it tomorrow. I've been so excited to do the reads. I've been so excited to do the raids. I've been so excited! <laughs> it's so funny that this is called lightweight. <laughs> Light heavyweight. <laughs> Are oh, they gonna go berserk mode? Uh Wow. Meow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My mom's a bunny girl. I roll on ring bracelet. I hope you're ready to be ripped to oh. shreds. Our challenger's first opponent, Black Cat. Black Cat. Can they hold their own against our feline ferocity? <laughs> I shot the One, two, paw. Okay, so switch over after? One, two, paw. Okay. Switch over. Okay, okay, simple enough, simple enough. One, two, paw. One, two, one, two. Okay. Black cat crossing? How to... Oh, wait, so what it go... Oh, okay, okay, okay. up elevate and excuse me. do we want to be on any of these is jumping over there oh dear, the challenger's up to me. what's if it's jumping over there Is 
targeting a... until I figure out what is supposed to happen because I'm not sure. Bloody scratch. Is that a raid wide? It is. Oh. Right now, uh, oh, should I just? Is it the biting one? God, I can't think. Or I can't think. Ooh! Um, the swole carby one. You guys know what I'm talking about? For the life of me, I cannot remember. <laughs> I cannot remember the, the number. Wait, what is... Le so it goes there first, then after? After it goes off? Can do it. But then why is that marker? Th oh, because it moves to that marker! Oh! 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 Okay. I was like, um, why is that marker there? <laughs> um, where's it going? Okay, that makes more sense now. Maybe after that goes off, it'll be fine. But it does it like a second time, right? Oh no, it doesn't! Oh, I thought it did! I thought it did. Okay, it did not. Oh. To me, echo of my soul. Copycat? Wait, should I? Maybe... Wait... Oh! I see! <laughs> oh! I... So my thought process was maybe don't stand on one that was already cracked about to break? But did I just hear fucking Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, so my thought process was Don't be on the crocked one, but then I didn't realize Oh, when you get yeeted up Oh, I see Okay, because it does crack It does crack even more so if you When you land on it, you know Okay Mechanic the first time it happened, so at least I did there. So if it started over here, should it at least start like here, I guess? Right? Maybe here? Oh shit. Okay, that was not the spider's man! Don't follow me! I don't know what I'm doing! Please don't follow me! <laughs> no, I'm so sorry to the person that was following me. Uh, it's my first time. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so it is going to move to this marker. Oh, wait, it's still dodging. Oh, so be okay, okay. I should use True North there. And then... So here is fine, probably. I did not mean to backflip there, sorry. Looks like someone isn't holding back. Okay, so that wasn't repeated. So once that goes off, I can go on it. It was repeated a little. Oh, it was at the end. <gasps> nice. such a bad one look i'm gonna say the person that was like saying that i was gonna die um you died several times i only died once okay <laughs> just say it <laughs> the match is decided victory goes to the challenger it is my first time <laughs> Okay, let's see here. The drop. It's all over. So, uh, roll for what was it? Boots. Oh, I forgot what he said already. Accessories and boots. So, like, any accessories, I guess. And then you can only win one thing, right? What? So this is a chest. This is the thing. Okay. Bravo, bravo. You were simply magnificent out there. The president's eye for talent is keen as ever. So now that you have your first victory under your belt, I shall tell you more about the Arcadian. <sighs> the championship traces its roots to a time in Alexander long before the coming of the Turali people. It was very different in the beginning though, with matches pitting recreated a simulacra against each other. Oh, like putting them against each other, okay. That's right, the very same that fought at your side, but with the advent of soul-derived resuscitation battles to the- Don't judge me, English is not my first language. Battles to the death between living combatants became the norm, and all without any actual deaths. Okay. The contest evolved once more after Zeralja was made king. It was he who proposed the use of feral souls to enhance one's flesh, leading to the technology for it being devised. So, it was that combat- Combatants? Combatants? Took on the power and likeness of- Beast and the audience experienced newfound heights of excitement. However, when Zeraldra raised the banners of war to embark on his conquest, all fair souls were reserved for the army's use. We had no choice but to suspend operations at the Arcadian. What happened afterwards, I believe you know, having gone mad, the king was vanquished by your hands, and shortly thereafter, our beloved queen was taken from us. So we are thankful safely now to others and certainly died from our hearts. Ah, oh, bro, talk so much. Okay. So, some may think. In poor taste to resume the championship now of all times, but it is now most of all the people need cheering up. And as I mentioned when we first spoke, we wish to help them forget their cares. Okay. Did you see how the audience roared when you, the upstart challenger, triumphed over our rising rookie? You have captured their imaginations, and I hope you will continue to do so. 
Am I meeting the... Oh no. That's the one I went against just now. Uh, I can't believe I lost to someone who wasn't even using a feral soul. What are you? You know, I get that question a lot in real life, actually. People ask me, what are you, all the time. Damn it all! I can't leave things like this. To say, would you mind if I watched you for a while? Don't worry, I don't have any hard feelings. I'm just curious, that's all, about what you can do. I just noticed her eyes are like, rainbow. They're like a rainbow color. I didn't notice that before. <gasps> They're like a rainbowish color. Or like more like green, green, yellow, orange. I don't know. They're pretty. <coughs> That's so cool. She has a good heart. Uh, I guess this doesn't matter what material I got. Whatever. It's all the same. Meme applications of that mechanic? Oh, you're gonna do Savage, Carmen? Let's freaking go. Hi, Selma. Sunkeeper, Sunseeker eyes glow that bright naturally. A normal, I don't know. I don't usually look at the eyes, no. The color of the energy drinks, that's true. Allow me to introduce your next opponent. That's actually so cute. This is Honey Bee Lovely, the darling of the Arcadian. <laughs> I'll capture your heart. <laughs> As you can doubtless guess, she utilizes the soul of a bee. This song is so distracting. I'm trying to like listen to the song. Okay, uh, extremely venomous one at that. But okay, can I just go? Oh, she's also a songstress. She can produce the pheromones of a queen bee to enthrall even her foes. Wait! For in addition to her winsome charm, which serves her well as a songstress, she can produce the pheromones of a queen bee to enthrall even her foes. Is she gonna, like, make us her slaves? Like, my queen, I will do whatever you want. Those who fall under her spell delight in the torment she unleashes upon them? She turns us into Macus... I was about to say Machinas, but that doesn't make sense. Macus... Macusis? Ma... Macusis? Ma... Why can't I think of the name? Machosis. Ma... Mas... Ma... I can't... Massachusetts! There you go. Not Massachusetts. Okay. She turns us into Massachusetts. Which is why the audience will be spectating via special contraptions cloaked in holograms. It wouldn't do to have hundreds of people be enthralled. In short, there's nothing lovely about her. Despite what she might claim, you're in for a bad time. It reminds me when I was streaming last time and someone in chat was like, are you Japan? And I was like, yes, I am all of Japan. How did you know? <laughs> this is true. This is real. Wait, Arrival, do I have you added in my crossword link shell? Oh, you're on crystal. I see. Okay, I'll have to remember also when we do extremes, I need to remember to go to Crystal. 
I mean, not crystal, dynamis. <laughs> I said crystal because I just read you say crystal. I need to remember, extreme raids, go to dynamis for that. Extreme raids, extreme trials, I can't English. English is so hard. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wait, this is adorable. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> Wait, what is she? So she turned into a bee then? Mommy from Madoka Magica, a little bit. <gasps> She's so cute. Oh my god, this arena is so adorable! This arena is so adorable! Oh, Jesus. Does that mean... Oh, God! Wait, did it go off already? Not yet? Or did it? Wait, it already did? Hope you're ready for me to steal your heart. Honey, be live? It's so cutesy! Of Wait, I, I have three oh, cards. She's definitely feeling your love. Can the challenger resist the irresistible? I know I can't. I have a heart. Should I go in here if I have a heart? Maybe does it get rid of the heart? It gives me another heart. Wait. I am head and heels. Alas, her charms were not to be denied. Oh, but I reset it. Oh god, am I dropping these? Wait, no. I... Wait, should I... Wait, what? Oh. Love me tender. Oh, right uh, here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, no, it works out fine. Is everyone having a good time? Finale? Maybe like the... Maybe it's because I was looking at her. Is it like the longer I look at her? Do these expand? Oh shit, they do!
Okay. I see. Hey, look, Solar Bahamut. Uh, oh, goodbye. Oh, no, I'm not dead. What? Are you kidding me? It didn't work? B is for brilliant. What's this? Honey Bee has changed her routine. That one went first. Maybe you would just rotate, I guess? I can't be that afraid to like get close. I have to get closer. Oh god. Revenge, good luck. I see it's on you. I wish you the best. We're just getting started. Who's my obedient little bay? Wait, are there two stacks? Oh they are. What does it say when you... There's nothing that says over there. But we were supposed to... I'm so confused. How... Love Seeker? Oh. 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 Oh! 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 Don't make me! Oh god. Oh god, I have three. No, I have two. I can't count. Wait, so are we supposed to... Wait. Oh no. She's blowing a kiss. Ah! Uh... No. Oh god. What a clash. Ah! Well, you don't have to stack, right? Get back on their feet. What <laughs> Watch and go Is it over already? Oh my god. Oh god. Oops. Bars for some stuff. Jesus Christ. They're still in it, but for how long? We're 
few more hits and I didn't have to go out the just yet. I need to remember. Oh, I need to keep that in mind as in my life. Oh jeez. Okay, alright, that was a wrong choice. <laughs> Okay, that's what I was afraid of before, but I need to remember that it won't resolve until after. Oh, 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 Jesus. One of the cutest bosses. <laughs> KO. The match is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. Yeah. Duty complete. Dude, this arena is so cute, though. It's so cute. It's all over until uh... next time. Guess I'll... what was it? <laughs> okay, I already got. So cute. Let's see. What a performance that was. I knew you could do it, my friend. Thank you. Actually managed to take Honey Bee down. You're the real deal. <laughs> With this victory, you're now eligible to challenge the reigning champion of the light heavyweight division. And as eager as I am to see you claim the crown, it will take some time to make arrangements for the match. While you wait, why not find yourself a second? That is, someone who supports you by gathering information on your opponents and giving advice on your train. Wait, if she needs a second, then please let me do it. Those who lose aren't allowed to fight for a while, so I'm free. But, ab but above all, I'd like to see the person who defeated me defeat everyone else too. As an active fighter, I suppose you would know your opponents better than most. If Mira is willing, then I certainly wouldn't object. Uh, sure. I don't see why not. <laughs> yeah, why not? You won't regret this. Now, if I'm to be your second, you ought to know my real name. Yana, I look forward to working together. 
Her name is not Black Hat, it is Liana. Alright. I'm just gonna accept whatever material. People were rage quitting on this boss when you tried it? Jesus. That sounds lame. <laughs> um, it's too hard. I'm leaving. <laughs> I said, follow me, the gym isn't too far from here. <laughs> the gym. Oh my gosh! It's her! Hey, aren't you Miro, the fighter who doesn't use a regulator? To not only fight, but win without using a feral soul, you're absolutely amazing. I'll be cheering for you from now on. <laughs> I was so surprised when I saw you in the ring. You're the hero who protected us from the soldiers. I've been your biggest fan ever since. <laughs> You'll win your next match too, I just know it. <laughs> These are so cheesy, but they're kind of cute. <laughs> Sensitive fan. You heartless fiend, how dare you embarrass our sweet honeybee like that? I hate you. <laughs> Not the idol fans hating. Oh no. <laughs> Enjoy this while you can, new blood. You'll be begging for mercy come your next match. <laughs> My, the fans are quite riled up today. I understand the need to let out their frustration, but I wish they could find more productive ways to use that energy. <laughs> True. There's a lot of people on Twitter that are like that, you know. <laughs> use that energy elsewhere, you know. Oh, but do excuse me, I'm something of a storyteller, and I have a keen interest in seeing how this championship unfolds. When you have a moment, I would love to ask you a few questions. Wait, you're Black Cat. What are you doing keeping company with the lass who just beat you? That's probably why you lost. You don't have any pride. I'd much rather watch your sister fight. Nobody put on a show like Wicked Thunder. This is never ending. Let's get out of here. Jesus Christ. Um, why don't you go in the arena? Why don't you fight? Why don't you go in? I want to talk all that talk. You know, why don't we fight now? <laughs> um, why don't we just fight now? Where is this? Is this the gym? Looks like we managed to slip away. Come on, the gym's just... Oh, the gym's over there. Okay. I was like... Where are we? <laughs> yeah, she's already got haters. Like, how dare you do this to my queen idol? She's too darling. How could you? Uh, home of the Alexandra's finest fighters. What is it? Trid Tales Training? That being said, I'm the only one here at the moment. It's also my actual home. The first floor is where I live and the basement is where I train. Now, don't be shy. Go in and make yourself comfortable. Oh. Oh, that's a pretty nice gym. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. My name is Nayuni. Thank you very much for looking after my sister. Thanking her for knocking me out, are you? <laughs> Anyway, as you may have pierced together, I have two sisters, and though they're gone now, our parents were originally from Tural. Oh, they happened to be in Yasluna when the dome appeared and ended up trapped. Here they took up work as hunters, but they were always opposed to regulators and never wore them, and one day they went out and never came back. Oh. Truth be told, I became interested in you because you reminded me of our parents. Like them, you're averse to using souls. We, on the other hand, don't see such a problem with the practice. So at our sister's urging, we started wearing regulators after mother 
mother and father thought died. Okay, so they... That's why they remember them. I see, I see. I was too little to understand what happened, but I've heard the story from my sister. So when I see you fight, I can't help but feel anxious. Miro, I say this knowing your stance, but won't you consider wearing a regulator in matches? If only to revive yourself should the worst come to pass. Um... No. I'm afraid you can't change people's minds when it comes to soul use, Nayuni. It's a question of culture and upbringing. But rather than talk about such things... We should celebrate! You've won two championship matches now, Miro. This calls for drinks! I've only got energy tonics, but it's the gesture that counts. Gesture, I think I said that right. Gesture? No, gesture. Not gesture. Gesture. You're celebrating even though you lost? I thought we came to the gym. I don't know why. To work out? <laughs> to do training, I guess? I guess. Energy drinks. Ooh, energy drinks. Oh, are they gonna turn colors? Wait, no, that's only because that guy had like the super special one. Never mind. These are just like regular energy drinks. So, after what that delightful fan said outside earlier, I imagine you're curious about my sister. Her name's Eutrope, and she rose to be a top contender in the heavyweight division. She became a fighter to look after me and Uni first and foremost, but it turned out she was great at it. Hardly surprising, I suppose. She always excelled at anything she set her mind on. She was a natural at combat, and on top of that, she mastered how to wield Electro. Hold on, I've just the thing. What's she getting? Oh, is she gonna put her on TV? Oh, is she fighting right now? Oh... Wicked Thunder was her ring name. She harnessed the eleven stage soul in conjunction with Electrobe and could shapeshift to adapt to her enemies in battle. I'm confident enough in what I can do. Utrope herself taught me how to fight, but I could never emulate her fighting style. Thing is, she just disappeared one day without saying a word to us. <coughs> she was so close to being immortalized too. Immortalized? What does that mean? Right, you wouldn't know. All Arc Arcadian fighters retire young. Feral soul transfiguration is just too much of a burden on the body. Those who fight to the age of 20 are immortalized in the Ascension Arcadia Hall of Fame. This comes with the privilege of moving to the luxury residence on Everkeep's upper level, where they can live out their days in comfort. Dang, that sounds nice! Okay. You dropped through all that away when she vanished. I just can't wrap my head around why. Why are the Mika children here so large? I don't know. It's like, why are like children's eyes so big? You know? Like, they kind of grow into their eyes. <laughs> But that's enough <laughs> reminiscing for now. It can't be long now before your next match, so let's head back to the Arcadian. Retirement at 20 years old? I mean, why not, I guess? Well, she just said, like, they, their body can't tolerate that much from using the beast thing. Good luck, Miru, and please be careful. Yeah, if your eyes are the same size from birth, literally why I said, grow into them. <laughs> what? <laughs> like that's, that's why children have such big eyes. That's... <laughs> Alright, go to... I guess I can go... Here, teleport here to... Ba -da -da. Which is this in Arcadian? Okay. <coughs> and I 
mañana, 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 mañana. Oh, oops, what did she say? If you win this next fight, you'll become champion of the light heavy wait, division. Okay, all right. This is the next one. Let's take a look at your opponent. It's the guy, the big guy. <laughs> Why? You? Okay. He's like, <laughs> that there, I regret to say, is the reigning light heavyweight champion, Brute Bomber. Why is tongue out like that? <laughs> he uses the light of the Bomb King to ignite all that he touches, but that'll be the least of your worries. He's a dirty fighter who will do anything and everything to win. The rules be damned. Countless of his opponents have had to be carried to the infirmary. But you'll be fine. I'm sure of it. If you busted me, you can bust the Brute Bomber too. Now go and blast that loathsome loat out of his own ring and come back here, the new champion. That was a funny face. All right. Okay, let's get um. Check this out going. He's a freaky motherfucker. So <laughs> funny looking dude. <laughs> 15 seconds? Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, I have room. Let's go. No online. Ready? Oh! They all just completely have different arenas. That's cool. Could hear that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like stick out his tongue again or something. What the heck? He is so swollen. <laughs> Oh my god, was it a 20 pack? What the heck? He reminds me like fr freaking Akuma from Street Fighter. <laughs> Akuma looking ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a cool play, the Paladin. He'll blow us? Damn, all right. The brute bomber has muscled his way into the ring. He's asserting dominance, okay. Brutal Larian. Oh. 
Oh, that is a lot wider than I thought. Okay. Well, it didn't hit, so... North. I'm so sorry. Going the other way. Okay. You should know that I have a short fuse. Is that a raid wide? That was not a raid wide. The fuse are ignited. Oh sh oh my the challenger went down hard. Dang, why does he call that out? Die. Oh my! The challenger went out hard. They're ignited. So... Oh, because they have a longer fuse! Duh! Okay, that makes sense. I see now. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's why they go off after. Okay. Get out of it in time. Oh, ouch. Okay, I'm glad I could faint for that. Cause what the heck? Sure, we're fine. Good indicator. I was trying to 
figure out the the wide range for that. Okay. Knuckle sandwich. Oh, I forgot to do this. Oops. Oh, that. Oh, I should have stayed in a little bit. I do like this uh, truck, and I like the the guitar that plays too. I think I just like the second one so far the most. <laughs> but I do like this truck. Oh god, I should have backflipped or something there. Fine here. Then, oh, uh, oh, damn it! No, my toe was in that. either. I think it was kind of funny. The match is decided! Victory goes to the challenger! Uh, what was the other thing I roll on? 
it. It was a... A zero? It's, it's all not over. here. Until next time. Those are not... Those are not boots. There's no boots here. Did not drop the lava floors? You did it! You really did it! Even though you beat me, I'm absolutely over the moon for you. It's truly astonishing what you can do without a feral soul. But this, you're now the light... Heavyweight champion. Congratulations, Rio. Now, there's going to be a ceremony to officially crown you champion. All the sundry will. All. All and sundry will be watching, so make sure you wear something you won't regret. Ready, are you? Then let's get you on stage for your big moment. Would it be only at the first two who dropped the boots? My fellow citizens, we are gathered to recognize a new champion in Arcadian, a rising star who shot to the top of the lightweight, light heavyweight division at breakneck speed. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the woman of the hour. The unstoppable upstart, the unenhanced but unbeatable, the one and only Miro Buns. <gasps> it's me! It's me! Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh my god, fireworks! And light and fire and confetti. Those are not fireworks. Those are fireworks! Sparks, Jesus Christ, my crack. <laughs> my character's so white. <laughs> Hold it right there. Your victory was a farce and I refuse to accept it. Oh, this guy again? Oh my, it appears Brute Bomber is unsatisfied with the outcome of his match. You fought with eight of... <laughs> You fought with eight of you! How is that fair? Let's settle this one on one, just you and me. He's actually right, though. He does have a very good point. That is actually a very valid point. That is so true. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> oh... Okay, well, revenge. I did not know that, so I just rolled for accessories. Yeah, I was not aware of that, so I just knew accessories and boots were was what I was supposed to be rolling for. And if you're not in the later ones, I was not aware, so... Yeah, I guess I'm not getting boots then. You're one to talk about fair, if it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one fight, fight without your bloody bomb key. Shut your mouths. I make the rules here. Um, I don't think so. Oh my god, is it... Fast Thunder? What was her name? Quick Thunder? Quick... I don't know. What in the world just happened? The sister. <laughs> Neutral? A <laughs> lightning McQueen. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. W oh, it's Wicked Thunder. Wicked Thunder, the heavyweight fighter who suddenly vanished, has returned. <laughs> I 
I will have your soul. Prepare your soul. What's this? Wicked Thunder has just challenged the unstoppable upstart. Alas, as much as I wish to bear witness to their clash, Wicked Thunder's license was wrote upon her disappearance. I am unable to sanction such a match. Intriguing. Most intriguing. This, this voice is the president. I will allow a special exhibition match. Prepare Wicked Thunder's ring and prepare yourself upstart. You heard it, folks. By permission of the president, a match will be held. Who will emerge the victor? Neo Neotric Witch of the Unhanced... Or the Unenhanced Warrior? This is an event you cannot afford to miss. <laughs> This is how the <laughs> WWE storylines go. I used to watch that when I was little with my dad. <laughs> That's so funny. Utope, where have you been and why have you come back now? I'm sorry, it's just I wasn't prepared to see my sister like that. It's a shame your big moment was spoiled, but now that the match has been decided, there's nothing for it to, but to prepare. As a former heavyweight fighter, you took more than a cut above everyone you face thus far. Even so, having seen how quickly you've climbed up the ranks to become champion, I reckon you're far from overmatched. As Nayuni mentioned, Utrope, or rather Wicked Thunder, harnesses the Lemon Steve's soul and employs Electrope in battle. Her ring's a recreation of an imaginary city designed to allow her the full use of her powers. Her bouts are notoriously so dangerous that there isn't even seating for spectators. And while she's my sister, I'm your second. So you go out there, Miro, and you win this. Okay. Interesting. That was fast. Okay. The final one. The final battle. I'll take if you need one. Yeah, are you online? Uh... You're not in the link show? Wait, are you just not online? Wait, what the heck? Did I just miss it? Oh yeah, you're right here. We are not winning the furry allegations after this rape here. Uh, gloves, boots, head are roughly the same pickups. Yeah, because I already have accessories, so... Okay. Accessories can be farmed by doing the extremes. Oh, I do want to do the um extreme trials on Sunday, but I'll go to um I'll go to Dynamis on Sunday since people still can't travel to Ether. Ether.
It'll be my first time doing the extreme, uh, titled. So, I won the, the ring, I think, or was it earring? I don't remember. That's one is serious. So, go for gloves then. Oh! Look at this arena! Wielding both magic and machina, she's a witch for a new age, the wondrous Wicked Thunder! Oh. Oh! I see what you mean by the furry thing. Wait, this is Ixion from Final Fantasy X! But like, a sexy version? <laughs> what? Oh! Excuse me? This is nothing personal, but I must have your soul. Wicked Thunder has returned to the link! You don't have to link your account to get the drop, so you're already getting it by watching. Uh, you can track it in your drops tab. There is no limit to Electro's potential. Jesus Christ. What is that? What's happening there? Oh, it cleaves! Is it cleaving the way it's facing them? Wait, it's gonna blast us again. Oh, Jesus! Oh. oh, so you pay attention to like how she loads it? Join that stack. No! Oh no, we we're all dead. <laughs> if one needs wings, one needs simply. Alright, just reset. <laughs> this boy came. She's great wings. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. Dude, look at this arena. This looks so cool. Oh my god. I see you made it to a monster. <laughs> a monster what? A monster effer's dream? Look what they did to Ixion. Wicked Thunder has returned to the ring! Oh, I forgot to... Oh, shit. I forgot to do this.
Oh. I'm so sorry. I kind of forgot the arena did that. Shots then move. One, two, Aoes. Take Okay, this is this is definitely a little bit better than I wanted to jump so badly. Oh God. Jesus. Shadow Sabbath, is that the red one? No. Be gone. Oh! 
god! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh no. Oh god! <laughs> god. Oh. I. 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 In, in moments like that, I miss being a caster. <laughs> In moments like that, I miss being a caster. They're back on their feet. What feet? I do like the music though. I like the track here. Wasn't sure how I felt about it at first, but I like that. Actually, this is a pretty good track. Oh shit. I gotta remember what I can press when I'm not in range. Oh. for that one. I should have moved up! Okay. How is this possible? won't actually die here. turn of events, Wicked Thunder has fled the ring! Our unstoppable upstart is victorious! Cool. Dude, the 
This arena looks so cool. Well, I thank you for a party. Oh, a minion! It's no over. way, I rolled a three. Uh, wait, did you say to roll for the, um... Did you say to roll for the gloves? Then? Did I open the map? What? Suck. Well, thank you for party, guys. Thank you. Thanks for doing the raids. Uh... Do I have the... Oh, I haven't adjusted my hotbars, I think, since I reached 100, I think. Let me see. Is there one that I'm missing? Wait, I have a level 45 thing? Not on my hotbar? Oh, really? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I know where to put this. I need to switch these. I keep back flipping by accident. But where can I put my loops to jump then? Mm. You know what? I know where to put my... You know what? I'll put this here. I'll put this here. I'll put... I need to figure out another way to do this. All the other ones before? Um, when I was practicing my rotation, um, that didn't have it on there, so. Like, if it was something that they just added, then, uh, and it was, and it's not part of the typical rotation, then no, I wouldn't have it on my whole board because I didn't know. Which other one? Which other one is there that got introduced? Is there anything else I'm missing? Or is that the only thing? the only thing from what I can see <laughs> yeah it's not there's copy pastas for the <laughs> dragon fight I know <laughs> what are the copy pastas for the second fight I'm curious Okay, if that was the only thing. Yeah, I had... I haven't been reading patch notes, so I didn't even know that was introduced. <laughs> That'd be the only thing. Well, I want to practice it, see how it looks like. <laughs> okay, 
Remember, this is dash, this is backwards. Dash, back, dash, back, back, dash. These are too far. Here, let me switch these up. Okay. Adol was always on seven for me, so I'm gonna keep faint on seven. This Adol's usually on seven. It's like. Oh no, it was on six. I lied. I'm a liar. I just lied to you guys. All right. Close enough. You copy pasted the one you saw? Where'd you copy paste that? Did you send it to me on Discord? Oh. It's the, uh, if honeybee lovely has a million lovely servant bees and I am one of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not reading all that. In front of trails. I think the second and fourth one were my favorite ones. I liked all of them though. I liked all of them. I think my favorite ones was the second and fourth one. Second fight gives you light rim? <laughs> what is... I'm trying to think what about it was... The uni will have watched the fight at home. I wonder what she thought of... Well, everything. Come on, let's head in. Honeybee and Wicked Thunder Savage are gonna look like... I'm excited for the Savage. <gasps> I wonder what the second phase of the fourth one is gonna look like. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I'm relieved you're unharmed, Miru, but what a shock it was to see you trope again, and in that manner. Maybe I should have a sexy Ixion on my thumbnail for the red. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you doing here? Um... Well, no matter. I'm not here to fight you, but to talk to my sisters. Oh my god, at first I thought your name was Time Mage Miru. It's Mizu. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Good, because we have a mountain of questions for you. Why did you disappear without a word? What exactly have you been doing all this time? Hey, she got a long nail. I'll explain everything in due course, but if you want to live, Yana, you need to give up fighting right now. What? Why? Because if you repeatedly transfigure your flesh with a feral soul, you'll eventually develop a psychonecrosis, an irreversible disease where your own soul degrades. Once it's begun, it's too late. All you can do is await death, like me. She has a disease. This this can't be true. I knew there were risks, but isn't that why fighters are immortalized? So we can get out before it's too late? Anna, have you ever met one of the immortalized? The life of comfort promised at retirement is just a lie woven to exploit us and cover up our deaths? So they're really just dead, not retired. But, but I remember them all. How can that be if they're dead? Rather than to new homes, the fighters are taken to a secret facility. There, the regulators are removed and they are kept in confinement until they die. Without their regulators fitted, Arakeep systems have no way of detecting their death, nor of 
thoughts, preserving your memory. I had noticed changes to my body, and so I decided to seek the counsel of Immortalized. And when I snuck into the president's office to ascertain their whereabouts, I discovered the sordid truth. I feared I would become another victim if I remained, and so I disappeared and began searching for a cure to the illness. D did you find one? In theory, the remedy is another person's soul, but an ordinary one won't do. No, it has to be surpassingly dense. Like yours, I bear you no ill will, but you're my only hope of survival. Rather than ambush you in a city and cause a disturbance, I challenged you in a ring, certain I would claim my prize. I knew the president wouldn't pass by the opportunity for a thrilling match. But I had become weaker than I'd realized. That's the only reason we're having this conversation now. Next time, I will have your soul. Wait, you trope. Even if it's to save yourself, you can't just take the soul of another. It isn't right. That's easy for you to say. You don't live with the knowledge that every single moment your soul is being eaten away. Was he, like, eavesdropping? <laughs> or he just got there? Forgive my intrusion. I'd come to see how you were faring after your sister's sudden appearance, but I fear I've overheard something most distressing. So you didn't know either, despite your position in Ascension Arcadia? Had I known, I assure you I would not commemorate with such enthusiasm. It was in the belief that our fighters were safe that I enjoyed my work. There's only one thing to do. We make the truth public and stop the fights. I don't want anyone else to suffer. Oh no, that is the worst thing we could possibly do. The president shows no mercy to those who get in his way. Oh my god, is the final boss going to be the president? <laughs> I don't know. Should we go public with his secret? No one would be safe. Not you, or me, or any of the fighters. That Eutrope has kept silent, I suspect, is because she understood this. I suppose you're right. In hindsight, it's because he's such a ruthless man that we could cover up the disease. I believe we have but one recourse. Miru, you must rise to the very summit of the Arcadian and become the Grand Champion. You see, the Grand Champion is granted access to all the souls in our repos repository. While it wouldn't be the intended purpose of this privilege, you would be at liberty to release them. By thus getting rid of all the feral souls left, the fighters would no longer be at risk. With the skill you've displayed thus far, I have faith that you can do it. You can count on me. That was my intention anyway. Sure, as long as I keep getting rewarded. <laughs> Good, good. Now, it would garner suspicion if I lingered too long, so I shall take my leave, if you'll excuse me. As you'll recall, I can't fight in any matches for a while, and given what I know now, it's just as well, but I'll, of course, continue to support you as best as I can. At the same time, the uni and I'll undertake our own search for a cure for psychonecrosis. There has to be a way to save our sister without sacrificing you or anyone else for that matter. Alright, I guess that's it for now. That makes it's what lightweight and then I said the three ones. It was lightweight, midweight, heavyweight? Something like that. <laughs> when she whipped out her gun. That was my reaction. To be honest, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. I put on a brave face for the uni's sake, but the truth is, I'm terrified. I'm really glad to have you with us in this. This has become more than just fighting competition, but for the sake of our goal, we will have to go along with it. So come and find me here when it's time to begin your cruiserweight campaign. 
Cruiser weight is the second one. Okay. Uh, there is a new light heavyweight champion. I have been most eager to talk to you, my friend. What's that guy? I believe a proper introduction is in order. My name is Gab... Gab bro? Bro, alright. And I am a cartoonist, that is, a storyteller in the medium of art. Most of my works are inspired by the battles in the Arcadian, and I'd love nothing more than to chronicle the journey of the unstoppable upstart. Now, I still have some few preparations to attend to, but as soon as that is finished, I should be most obliged to hear your tale. Bro. Bro's works are tremendously popular in Solution 9, and the fact that he wants to make a story about you is proof of your own popularity. You could do worse than have a chat with him. Um, it doesn't matter. Quest complete. Pick on someone your own side. <laughs> Gotta start moving up in weight class so we make sure you start bulking weight for the next right there. <laughs> mm. Monstrosity. Wait, Wicked Thunder will become a giant monstrosity wall boss like all the other? Well, um, Hesperios wasn't, so there is a chance that she won't also. For the second phase. The vampire guy one. G with the D. Dab, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, this was actually a short stream. I wanted to... Uh, I really wanted to... Um, it feels weird only streaming for like 4 hours. I've gotten so used to streaming like 8 to 10 hours or even more. Like 8 to 12 hours. So, But I'm gonna work on making this into a YouTube video. Um, I know I want to play, but I've been neglecting my YouTube because I've been playing <laughs> this a lot. Um, but I know there's also people watching for drops, so... Let's see. I'm gonna take you guys to someone who is also... I think, are they also? Yeah, they also have drops enabled. Alright, and they helped me out when I was doing Dragon Song. Appreciate them a lot. So I'm gonna send you guys over for those that are still watching for drops and whatnot. Um next stream will be on Sunday, by the way, for anyone that is interested in doing the extreme trials. Um, I'm gonna be running those on Sunday. I will go over to Dynamis. Um, that way people that are uh currently can't travel to Aether can join as well. I'm super, super excited for those. It's gonna be my first time doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm planning to obviously have a longer stream then. So unfortunately, no stream tomorrow. I do have family to see before um, they leave. Like my brother, he's only in town for a little bit and now he's going back to Florida. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, chaos unfold. Have a good rest of your night or day take care of yourselves and i will see you on sunday and then this is from my youtube and i will see you next time <laughs>